Hey guys, it's Jessica. Welcome to my channel if you've never been here. So today I'm actually in our Disney Resort and I wanted to share a video with you guys on the go in action of how we travel with a one-year-old to Disney World. We've done this three times. The first time we came she was probably about like five months old and then it was a little bit before she turned one and now she's 15 months. So we've learned a lot along the way and we used to go to Disney all the time before we had her. So we just had to adjust how we do it but we've also learned a lot about what things to bring, what not to bring what you have to do at the airport what you have to do once you get to your resort all those little logistical things that used to stress me out I feel like I finally have the answer to I know how to do it and I wanted to impart that knowledge to you guys because I know I read so many blogs and, and things would say different things so I'm here to show you how it works you'll see a lot of the things I'm talking about in action here in Disney so in this video I'm going to show you how I pack for my one-year-old and kind of what I think is important to bring maybe things that you can wait and just buy once you get here to save room in your suit case and then we're also going to go to the airport and I'm going to show you what you have to do there things you have to do with your stroller because odds are you're probably bringing a stroller and it's actually not as hard to travel with one as you think there are specific things you do have to do and then I'm also going to show you once we're in Disney what are different things at the hotel room you can request that are free and then other things that are just going to make your life easier once you're actually in the parks or in the restaurants etc so let's go back in time and I'm going to show you how I travel to Disney with a one-year-old So here I've got her suitcase open and in here I just have all of her clothes. I used to put them in packing cubes but honestly I stopped because it just wasn't necessary. It's nice when you can kind of see everything you've got. So I've got a couple sleepers, uh, some swimsuits. I really like the ruffle butt ones that are like long sleeve. You can buy them on Amazon. I can link them below. It's because it's just extra sun protection. So I like that. I always have a light jacket in there. Some cute kind of Disney-y outfits. I even have a Snow White costume. I actually didn't have time to wash it. But a Snow White costume I got from Amazon for her because we're going to the Halloween party while we're there. And then just some extra onesies, some pants, and of course shorts. And then in here I've just got some socks and bows and things like that. Really simple but nice to have extra clothing. Now the room we're staying in will have a washer and dryer. We're staying in like a one bedroom villa because we found a pretty good deal on one. But typically when we go we don't have a washer and dryer. A lot of the Disney value resorts will have a washer and dryer like laundromat type area to the resort. Just ask the front desk. But it's nice if you're staying a long time, if you don't want to have to pack that many outfits, you'd be able to wash clothes in between. So that's everything over here. Flipping here, I've got her just two pairs of shoes, some sandals, and then some just closed toed ones. Really important to at least have one pair of shoes that you know your toddler can't kick off. Like for our daughter, she's not walking yet, but she's really close. But even when she's just sitting in the stroller, she will pick at her shoes and take them off like these. So these she can't really get off, which I love. I've got these sunglasses from Coco Sand. Again, Amazon. They were actually kind of pricey, but they actually stay on their head because there's this elastic part in the back that um, it, it's like comfortable and it stays on their head. She doesn't seem to mind these too much. Um, then I have her sun hat in here also from Amazon. Again, I'll link whatever I can think of down below. Bibs to use in the actual hotel that I can just throw in the washer and dryer when they need it. And then over here, okay, so when we get to the room, we're gonna be ordering groceries and I'm gonna order regular diapers. So all I packed were nighttime diapers. The ones that are like extra, like 12 hour absorbent ones for every night that we're there and one extra. And then I just packed a couple of regular ones in case the delivery takes longer to get there than I think. And then these are disposable bibs. To be honest with you, I was kind of like, I don't wanna do that. Like thinking of the environment, I'm like, it just seems wasteful. But I only use them when I travel. I'm trying these for the first time. They're these Bibsters. And it was like a pack of 32 for like seven or eight bucks. And it's got a pocket that opens up. You just throw it out. And when you're going to restaurant after restaurant, day after day, it's just so nice to not have to worry about putting a dirty bib and washing it and putting it back in your diaper bag. You know, all of that stuff. It's just nice. Swim diapers, some wipes, and then I have her rain jacket because, of course, it will be rainy. I have a stroller fan that clips onto the stroller and you just charge it at night. I have some SPF there. I have actually our empty smaller diaper bag. It's more like a small backpack if we want to use it when we're in the parks. Like for half days, we don't necessarily need our big diaper bag. And here I have all of her toiletries, baby wash, toothbrush, uh, you know, Aquaphor, diaper cream, all those kinds of things. Nice to have most of the liquids in there if I'm not going to need them in the airport because this will be checked under the plane so I don't need to worry about having them all in a clear bag. 
Then this is actually a pool float that we blow up. It's called My Baby Float. It was like $5. And she loves it. When we go in the pool, she can just sit in it and float around. So that's all that's in there. And then I just have this thing um, that actually is a toy in itself, but it's full of just smaller toys for when we're actually at the hotel. So it all fits in there, no problem. Then I have our Fawn Design diaper bag. This is newer to me. I bought it because I heard Madison Miller here on YouTube talk about it. I love her, I love her channel. And uh, she had like a discount code. So I can put that info down below if you wanna use her code because I don't have one, but um, it was 15% off because this is not a cheap diaper bag, but I bought the set that comes with the little like diaper holder you'll see in a second. I like this because I can hold so much more. And for me, this is what I'm carrying on the plane and I needed to be able to hold a lot more than what our, our smaller diaper bag holds. And then I always bring a cozy blanket on a plane. She doesn't sleep with blankets yet, but to have it on the plane is um, a godsend. So definitely bringing that and I love the pocket on the back for that. This is the diaper clutch that it comes with if you order like the set. And I love that because it's just got a quick handle. My husband or myself, we can just grab it out of the diaper bag real fast and run to the bathroom with her, which in Disney we realized was more annoying than anything having our diaper bag and bringing the whole thing into the bathroom, trying to find a spot to set it down when you're trying to change your diaper. Got a, it actually comes with a really thick, kind of heavy, diaper changing pad. I have this Disney one I wanted to bring. It's so much lighter, to be honest. Then I just got a refillable wipes thing. Again, this comes with one, but it was really bulky, so I'd rather just use one that I have. And then diapers. I have one nighttime diaper for when we're in the airport today. Uh, right before we get on the plane, I'm gonna change her into that, so she should be good. And then just extra diapers. You always wanna have more diapers than you think you need, because if something happens with your luggage or whatever. So in here, I have these snack bags. I got a two pack on Amazon where I've just got some snacks for her in it. And then again, I can just throw them in the washer if I need to wash them throughout the trip. These are the best. So our daughter loves to throw things. So we really can't just give her a plate, um, especially when we're at a restaurant where they might not have the kind of plate, you know, like a plate that won't break. These you just stick onto the table. They are really strong, like they cannot get it off. It just makes it so you can set the food on top of it without having to worry about a plate at all, which is perfect. Again, when she's older, we won't need this, but for now, it is truly the best thing ever. You can get them, you don't have to get the Disney ones, they have other ones we've used before. They all work the same, and you can get them for pretty cheap. So again, we don't use this at home, but we use it when we're on the go in restaurants, and especially in Disney. I have the, dis the disposable bibs. I love these Baby Gannick hand and face wipes. We have a pack of those in there. A little portable sound machine. Honestly, mostly we are, have for the hotel room and then if she wants it when she's falling asleep in the stroller which I'll show you our amazing travel stroller in a second so then I have an iPad we have downloaded a few of her favorite shows on there judge away if you want but yes she watches some shows so I also because we're carrying this on had to put any of her liquids in a clear bag just Tylenol some snacks a fork and spoon for her like baby fork and spoon she also was sick recently so she's got to finish an antibiotic there so that kind of stuff hand sanitizer you do have to have in a clear bag and you'll pull it out for security when you go through it then I just have some extra books she's really into trying to figure out how her straps work like on her high chair so I found this toy on Amazon and I was like oh my god Gosh, perfect. So my trick is buy toys that your child has never seen and save them for when you're on the plane and they're having the first meltdown. <laughs> so I had a few special books that are brand new that I know she'll like. So this is something that you flip that up and you suction it to the tray table or a table maybe you're at a restaurant or whatever and you can tie toys to these three little things and that way if your child has a tendency to throw things like mine does it won't go to the floor, it'll stay there. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is genius. So could not wait to buy that, so nice to have. At the bottom of here, I just pulled it out, I have this wet bag. Um, it came in a two pack and I have her change of clothes in here. So if she needs a change of clothes, it's in there. I like having a bag that's meant for wet clothes so that way the dirty clothes, you have a place to put them. So I thought that was pretty cool. So those are just kind of hiding out the bottom. And then I have a sweater for her in there as well. So her two sippy cups are gonna go on the side. So I'm gonna bring one full of milk. All you have to do is show them that you have it and it's no big deal, but you always wanna just kind of pull it out and say, hey, I've got formula or I've got, I've got breast milk or whatever. And they'll kind of look at it separately. And then I'll have the other sippy cup on the side I'd probably empty so I can put water in it on the other side of security. So our stroller is from the brand GB and it's their Pocket City. Um, there's a special term for this exact one, but I will link the exact one we bought down below. It folds up and it's only like 10 or 11 pounds. So it's really, really nice. We have a cover on it we bought separate. So we're about to leave. So I will show you how all of this works here in a little bit when we get going. The other thing I thought was worth mentioning is that when we travel with her, 
we usually will just straight up put her in a sleeper because it's just comfortable, she's cozy, she's not cold. Airports can get a little bit chilly and it's just nice to know that she'll be at least comfortable and then we have blankets if she wants any more. So when you get to the airport, we've got her and her stroller, happy as a clam with a toy. And we just took our luggage and went to the actual like full service desk. For most airlines, child under two, you want to show them the child's birth certificate if they're a lap infant, right? Mm -hmm. Because they have to be under two to do that on most airlines. And so you're basically proving that you don't need to pay for a seat, basically. So we showed them that and they gave us our little ticket for her to be a lap infant and then our own tickets, of course. And they, we've checked our bags and now we're going to head to security. For security, when you go through, you will take your kid out of the stroller if you're bringing one, and you'll actually like physically carry them through, and then put the stroller folded up, and it'll go through the security. Thing. She's trying to tell us. She knows all about it. Yes, yeah, she does. Let's go. So we're at the gate, and what you do if you are bringing a stroller is bring your stroller with your ticket to the desk at your gate, and they will give you a sticker and Plain little tag. claim tag. So that way, when you're getting on the plane, you can fold it up, give it to them. They know it belongs to you, and then when you get off the plane, it'll be right there for you. You can grab it and. So you can get back in. So you're really only having to carry your baby or toddler onto the plane and off of it, and that's about it. So it's pretty nice. And if you can, my hair looks hilariously frazzled. Some airports have like a little crawling area, literally where kids can just play and crawl. So that's where I'm taking her. So we are at the Magic Kingdom. It's all decorated for fall. And she's excited. And the one nice thing is when you go through the ticket area and the security here in the Disney parks, you do not have to take your child out of the stroller. So they will check under and have you open the canopy and pull out things underneath so they can see. But beyond that, the, the child can stay in. So that's really nice. So another thing you can do is get stroller straps where you can hang the diaper bag, whatever diaper bag you have on the back of the stroller, which is nice because it kind of gives your back a break when you have long days at the parks. And sometimes in the middle of the day, if you are staying in the park, you can just find a quiet little area like we are in the American Pavilion in Epcot. There's no one in this back area. So I'm just kind of rolling her to sleep, pushing her. And I, I completely forgot to get some footage of it, but they also have a baby care center in each of the four theme parks where it's air conditioned, there's a quiet place, tons of changing tables, there's a place to purchase snacks and formula and diapers and wipes and sunblock. There's even an area that has a microwave and a sink and some high chairs. But then on top of that, there's a nursing area for mothers. So here, right outside of Mouse Gear, uh, is like a little kids play area. So kids can just run around, get some of their energy out. And I don't know how long this will be here because I know they're redoing a lot of this front area of Epcot. So we're at the Wilderness Lodge where we're staying and a lot of them, you can buy milk at their like main gift shop area. I don't know if it's at every single one, it's worth looking up, but I know a lot of them do. And so for us, we didn't have time to place an Amazon groceries order. We're gonna do that in the morning, which meant we need milk for tonight. So I was like, ah. So even if they don't sell like half gallons or anything, you could always go to the quick service place, which every single place has, and buy smaller things of milk in the meantime. So one thing that we love, I mentioned earlier, are these stick-on little placemats. I learned about from my sister-in-law actually. And then we also brought a spoon and a fork from home, like a baby spoon, just because I don't know that they really offer them here and it's just nice to have, you know, during times like these. She's a hungry girl. Another nice thing is anywhere you go for a restaurant, they will give you milk if you ask for it. So we just refill her bottle every time we stop and it works out really well. So another thing we've actually been trying for the first time this trip are these straps. You can get like two packs on Amazon for like seven bucks. Um, but it can, you can resize it to fit whatever bottle or sippy cup you have and then you can latch it on to like the stroller so if she tends to throw things like ours does. It won't land on the ground. We've used them like on high chairs, things like that, but they have been you know, like so Another thing are these cooling towels. They sell all different brands. Um, I can link the exact one I have a look because this one's larger, but it works really well for babies and toddlers and adults when you're hot because it's just like always cold. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know what magic it is. Lesson learned the hard way. If you go into a pavilion for a ride or whatever and you park your stroller, which for a lot of them, you do have to park your stroller outside, uh, go ahead and close. If you have like a cover, close it. 
because if there's a short little five minute rain shower like we just had, we came out and we're like, oh, it rained, okay. And then we're like, oh no, the whole stroller seat is wet. You can't tell now, but it's all wet. So we're gonna go see if we can buy like a beach towel or something that we can have as a souvenir. We can like try it. Just a little pro tip. Yeah, and look, it's sunny. It was sunny when we went in. It rained and it's sunny again. So you never know. It's just rain. never know. So another thing you can do is as an impromptu kind of rain cover, just if you buy a poncho or bring a poncho, they're perfect for kind of covering your stroller. With. So we are about to go to the pool on this kind of like lazy resort day. We're going to like Disney Springs tonight, mm -hmm. but I wanted to show you her sun hat. It's awesome in the pool and awesome um, just every day here. And then these long sleeve swimsuits I was talking about from Ruffle Butts. Right. Um, and then <laughs> these little aqua shoes. They're really cheap on Amazon, but especially if your kid's walking, they, yeah, your shoe. If your kid's walking, the cement and stuff is hot there, so it would just burn their feet. So we've also got this little float that I brought, you. I just brought it deflated. And um, she's got her little shades and they actually stay on because there's like elastic in the back. So it's pretty awesome. She's happy as a clam. So another thing worth mentioning is not to underestimate the power of just quiet playtime at your hotel. So we just kind of laid a blanket out and brought some toys from home and she's just been crawling around and it's cozy and comfy and quiet and so she can kind of get her wiggles out. So another thing you can do is when you're taking boat transportation, which only some resorts have. So here at Wilderness Lodge, we're gonna get on the boat when it gets here. You don't have to take her out of the stroller for that. You can roll it right on. Now on the buses, you do have to fold the stroller down. So on the monorail, if you're taking it to your destination, you can just roll the stroller right onto that as well. And she makes lots of friends. She makes a lot of friends on the monorail. So another thing you can do, it's a little pricey, but you can on the Lyft app, do a minivan and they have a car seat they'll put in for you if you have a little one. So she literally put the car seat in for us. We were able to put it in there. It's actually the same car seat we have at home, uh, but it's different sizes, it's adjustable. So, so and they have two convenient. different ones depending on how big the kid yes. is. And it can take you directly to where you're going. So we were coming to the boardwalk today, and so it wouldn't have been convenient to catch a bus. We'd have to catch two buses basically. So this was great, but again, it is pricey, but it's there if you absolutely need it, which is nice. And it can just take you directly there with the car seat. So the night before you actually leave, you'll have a thing hanging on your door at your Disney Resort, assuming you're staying on property, with information about the Magical Express bus. And what's nice is when you go down there, they can hold your bags. If you're checking bags in your airline, make sure you have everything you need for the day, diapers, bottles, snacks, toys, whatever, and a change of clothes. Everything else can go and they'll check it all the way from your resort all the way to the airport onto your airplane. It is amazing, so you don't have to touch them. That way, if you have a few hours before you actually have to leave, you can go to the park for a few hours, whatever, and you don't have to worry about it. But again, I reiterate, make sure you have everything you need, your IDs and stuff, because once that stuff is taken away, it's gone, it's at the airport. So really double and triple check that. But then they, at the resort airline check-in desk, I think they usually close around noon, so you go down, they'll take your bags, they'll also print your boarding passes for you, check into your flight for you. It's really, really nice. If you're not sure how it works, go down there. They will walk you through everything. It is so easy. The first few times we did it, we were really confused. But once you start talking to them, they explain it. It's it's so much easier than it seems. It just is a little nerve wracking the first time you do it because it's kind of like, wait, what do you mean you're taking my bags? But the other thing is if you want to go out into the parks and you want to just leave maybe your day bags with you and you just want to bring like one bag, they'll hold your carry-on bags for you at the bell stand and then you can just come back and pick them up right when it's time for your Magical Express bus and the time you need to be there they'll give in that paper that would be hanging on your door. So I know that's a lot of information. I promise it's easier than it sounds, but I hope this video was helpful for you all. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. I hope you subscribe as well. I upload three to four times a week, beauty and lifestyle videos. And other than that, I thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.